Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome back again to my channel and in today's video I am going to give you a tour of my desktop. In my previous videos you would have seen me working on Linux Mint 20. But I decided to try out Ubuntu Focal Fossa which is version 20.04 and I have not looked back. Canonical seems to have done a great job in producing a very polished version of Ubuntu. And this version is a long term support which means that this version is going to be supported for the next 5 years until 2025. So let's take a tour of my desktop. We're going to start looking at the softwares that I have installed and the stuff that I have uh, configured after installing Ubuntu 20.04 and also the GNOME extensions that I've installed. So let's get started. The first very noticeable difference in the appearance of this version is the availability of three different type of themes. It has a light theme and a standard theme and a dark theme. So setting the dark theme still didn't quite give me the full dark experience that I was after. Because if I went to my calendar and notification area, it was still appearing as white. And also over here, this section was appearing as white. So I had to do some additional steps to get the full dark mode activated. The first thing that you'll have to do is to check if you have the extensions installed. Then you need to go to extensions. And you need to go and make sure that the user themes is turned on. Once you do that, you'll need to restart your session by logging out and logging back in again. And then using the known tweaks, you can set the dark mode. So you need to install this if you don't have that already. So if you go here in tweaks, you go to appearance and then in the shell, you can select the theme as Yaru Dark. If I didn't set up my shell theme as Yaru Dark and left it as default, then this is how it would appear. There's a few new set of colorful backgrounds this version is now supporting, which is available under background. The next major change that this version supports is fractional scaling. So I have a 4K monitor and a Full HD monitor and I am set setting the 4K monitor to scale at 150% and my Full HD monitor is left at a scale of 100%. Moving on, we can also see that the look and feel of the file manager and the folder icons have also changed. In some of the other noticeable changes, we can see that we now have the ability to set do not disturb mode to block any notifications. And there is a feature to set the night light, which changes the color temperature of the monitor. And I can set the night light on or off. And if I go into the display settings and if I choose night light, I can either schedule it to run from sunset to sunrise or I can pick my own time and I can also change the color temperature. Some of the other things to notice is a uh, upgraded Linux kernel version. So this one uses 5.4 and there is also a redefined lock screen. Other than that, I have the GNOME Tweak tool and the Extensions app installed to configure this stuff to my liking. One of the other things that you will also notice is now you can group stuff in the applications. So I could actually group and create a folder together. So these are pretty much the main standouts in this version. Now let's move ahead and take a tour of the apps that I have got installed. The first thing that I do after installing Ubuntu is install the apps that I want to use. 
So for my browsing, I prefer using Google Chrome. And I can also sync my setting across different devices. Most of the software development that I'm doing these days in my free time is programming in Flutter. So for that, I use Visual Studio Code. For using the terminal application, I have installed an app called Tilix. It gives me the ability to spawn multiple terminals within the same application. So I can split the windows however I want. For my basic text editing, I am using Sublime Text. And I am using OBS to do all my screencasting. This is what I use to record all my videos. And sometimes I am also doing Java development work. For this, I have the IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition installed. I am using Dropbox to sync all my files if I need them across multiple devices. And I am using GIMP to do my image editing. Next up, I'm going to show you some of the custom GNOME extensions that I have installed. I have a drop-down terminal extension which I can just enable or disable by using the tilde key which is just above the tab key. The net speed extension shows me the upload and download speed and it appears in my status bar over here. The screenshot tool is also quite handy. So this is the icon appearing for the screenshot tool. And I can just click on that and I can either select an area or select a window or se select the whole desktop to take a screenshot. And once I take a screenshot, it will ask me whether I want to save the file or copy it. And it will also appear here in the screenshot tool. So this is really handy. The next extension that I have is sound input and output device chooser. So I can click on the sound icon over here and I can choose the device that I want to use for my sound and my microphone. So this concludes the tour of my desktop in this video and I hope you find it useful and thanks a lot for watching.